so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, what we want to start with is introductions for everybody because this is supposed to be a fun conversation. Y'all know Let's Talk BL. It's supposed to be super fun, and this Zoom meeting is supposed to be the same way, although we are trying to learn things so that we can make season three really good. Yeah. So we're going to start with intros. We want you to say your name, your pronouns, and what your favorite BL is, as well as like where in the world you are. You don't have to tell us your city if you don't feel comfortable, but you know, like tell us your country, time zone, that kind of thing, so we know <laughs> where you are. And we're gonna go in order of the way we are on the screen. So we'll start with Beth Ann and then me, and then we'll go and we'll hop down and then, you know, zigzag as we do, like when in school, everyone. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, that's how we're gonna go. Sounds good. I'm Beth Ann. <laughs> one half of let's talk feel uh and we're in texas we uh she her and my wait what did we say favorite favorite BL. BL. oh lord um you're my guy yes of Obvious. course I, you got it obviously, obviously. <laughs> teams do that uh, okay i'll go next i'm ayla uh the other half of let's talk BL. <laughs> although if we're being honest there's like a million parts of let's talk BL, so True. you know yeah um also in texas obviously <laughs> um and she her or they them it doesn't matter to me either one is good and then favorite bl I'm gonna go your my sky too. I have to because like we're being recorded. Like come on, <laughs> we're being recorded. Come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, am I next? Yes. Oh, yes. my name's Mal <laughs> My name's Malik. I he him pronouns. Um, I'm in Virginia, okay. and whoop whoop yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would have to say my favorite BL is Semantic Era. Ooh. Oh, that's, yeah, good choice. Good one. Yeah. Um, I'm Jamie, she, her, uh, untrodden ways on everything. Um, favorite of all time is probably still History Three Trapped. Oh. A classic. Oh, and I'm yeah. in Arkansas. Nice. nice. Okay, let's hop down. All right, I am Terry in north carolina um she her favorite right now is ken porsche Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. i'm originally from north carolina so <laughs> i have heard <laughs> right i'm a transplant nice. um hi everyone renee uh she her and i'm in washington state and my favorite BL, I can't believe you're making us pick, first of all, <laughs> the, the audacity. Um, but I think just one of the best of all time has got to be Until We Meet Again. Mm. Just one of the best of all time. Rewatch you're it bringing often. the pain in. Yeah. We're bringing the pain. So good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Elizabeth um, from Mexico. Um, well, I agree with Renee with Until We Meet Again, but I'm going to go with Manner of It. Oh, yeah. Hey. Amazing. So I'm going to go back down. So I think Jen, that means you. Yeah, hi. I'm Jen. I'm in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, she, her pronouns. And it's not over yet, but I have to say Love Mechanics right now has all my Whoa. attention. Good. I mean, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. I get it. I get it now. I fully get it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and Jordan, and I'm in the UK. Pronoun pronouns are she, her. And I would have to say my favorite one is Together With Me. Because hey. it is the one that st you know, started it off for me. So I have to give it to that one. Another classic. Yeah. Right, yeah. Big time. And I'm wearing Max. A Max Tall shirt to represent nice. them. Oh, oh, cool. <laughs> Hi. In her is my pronoun. I cannot pick my favorite beer, but I can say until we meet again. And Bad Buddy is going to be my comfort show because I can pick any episode and just watch it. And I'm from India, Bangalore, basically. Bad Buddy is a great choice. Yeah. Yes. 10 out of 10. Yes, yes. 
<laughs> yeah, I well, mean. Thank you guys for joining us. We're very excited we're to have you here. So. <laughs> It's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be super fun. So we really want to start with, like I said, we're trying to figure out how to make season three. We do have some stuff already planned um, because <laughs> I think we're going to do the first reveal very early on because yeah. I think it's going to help you guys as we ask you these questions. Yes. Um, so first reveal is that... One week from today. One week from today, we'll already be in the air. We will be in Thailand. Um, and so we are setting up a lot of different things. Um, and we will be in Thailand until September 3rd, the whole time. So we will be there. Technically we land on the 19th and we'll be there all the way through September 3rd. And we're going to try and do as much and talk to as many people as we <laughs> can, as we can fit in. The schedule is already getting kind of crazy, but I think knowing this and understanding where we'll be the theme of season three is let's talk BL on location so this is our theme <laughs> so keep that in mind um as we kind of go through and try and figure out how we can make season yeah. three because i think every, we talk about this pretty frequently when we first started doing let's talk BL, it really was we just wanted to make <laughs> bl friends like we just wanted to talk like you know, like word vomit into the internet yeah, about yeah, BL. Yeah. Um, and so now we're like, oh God, we have to have a plan. We have to like do yeah. things. Uh -huh. We have friends now they want to talk to us and what they want to hear from us. Yeah. What, what do we do? So we really want to make stuff that's actually entertaining. Yeah. So that's where you guys come in and the idea is that you help us figure this out and make it work. Yeah. So I guess the first question is what regular episodes, because right, we've limited ourselves to like one to two interviews a month because we realize not everybody likes all the actors that we talk to. And so we want to kind of split it up. So what regular episodes, topical episodes, would you guys be interested in hearing as it relates to Thailand or BL? Or BL or other, other regions yeah. where they serve us the BL. <laughs> Well, if you're going to Thailand, I would love to see like what you like in Thailand, you know, what you experience kind of like places you like to go. Okay. I think For sure. I'll be there in November. The so <laughs> exciting. Yeah, definitely food. Who said food? Yes, food. Yeah, food, food too. Yeah, food <laughs> for sure. Food for sure. Food okay. sure. Also, oh. one other thing you did early in the show, you talked about second seasons like of shows mm -hmm. and I would also want to see an updated opinion on that just oh. like if you think any new shows had needed would want a second season that would be fun yeah. yeah yeah I am for regular episodes I am sorry uh I'm really interested in more music content oh music um, yeah okay I am on a discover new Thai music and I have Spotify and I have like, this is all of my Korean music. This is all of my Thai music. And I would really be interested because a lot of these uh, BL actors also are musicians and singers. Yeah. Um, like not just Thailand, other countries as well. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. So what kind of music would you guys, because I saw a couple of people sort of nod their heads when music was said. Are you into mostly like the BL, mm. BL actors that make the music or like bringing in a little more just like K-pop and T-pop and that kind Ayla of thing? Ayla just wants to know if she can really talk, about talk about Alice. Alice. <laughs> I actually <laughs> like the idea of lesser known stuff. I was a volunteer coordinator for an indie music festival for like eight years. So mm -hmm. that's like right up my alley. Um, and uh, especially because K-pop is so well known that uh, I think that focusing on some of the other like Taiwan, like yeah, I yeah. don't know any bands from Taiwan Mm -hmm. um, so stuff like that, like, would be interesting to me. Yeah. yeah, interest in like Filipino music, for example. I also am always down to talk about Zach Tabudlo and Kevin <laughs> Very cool. I would cool. all. I would just also say like. 
tying it into the OSTs, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Because like sometimes you have, you know, Jeff Satter on an OST for a show he's not on, mm -hmm. right? And or other BL actors on, you know, GMM always likes to mix it up. So right. it'd be fun to connect like do one of those charts you do right with the in the background <laughs> of oh my God. OST to show to OST to show kind of thing. I think for that'd sure. Be really fun. Oh, funny. That was so ridiculous to make when we did that shift episode. We thought we were like, okay, one poster will be plenty. And then we started literally like hand cutting out the pictures and like glue sticking them on. And we were like, wait, we're out of space now. And so then we had to like unstick them and figure out how we're like, hey, this means we have to organize it in different we ways. We had to cut boys. We're like, like, right, we had to get rid of shit. So we were like, oh God. It was ridiculous. We in fact have half of it hanging in the hallway in this home. Yeah. It's just there. Um, we kept all the posters. So all the pictures. So I think it would be fun to make another chart, actually. That would be it. Charts are fun. Collage time. <laughs> Yeah. Um, are we going to get you in the elevator at GMM TV gift shop, hopefully? <laughs> a vlog um, and GMG. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hanging out in the lobby. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think you'll get something at GMM TV. <laughs> Th things have been set up. I think you'll get something at GMM TV. <laughs> love, uh, to, love to hear. Good time. Yeah. Stay tuned. So any other ideas for just like regular episodes that don't have interviews on them? Well, I am interested in manga and stuff. Ooh, okay. <laughs> thing, like, something like that, you know, about like reading like into like BL ships and everything. I think that would be a okay idea. Cause I mean, I've been reading them for ages and I just like to hear other people's opinions on them really. Oh yeah, we've never done the novels or any of the like the mangas that they're adapt that these shows are adapted from or you know any of that. So that would be really fresh and different yeah. for us for sure. I definitely read the novels and the webtoons okay. and the manga. So that would be interesting to me as well. Yeah, so I think like where to find them as well, just in case people don't don't know it. Mm -hmm. Yes, like our, yes. We'll, we'll explore it for the first time. Yeah. yeah. That'd be fun. <laughs> Mm. And I feel like Pooja, you have ideas. Tell me. I want to know. I'm curious. <laughs> For regular shows, I think you should go with the foods that were included in the BLs that were very famous, like that seaweed crackers or chips that we have seen, and their regular, you know, authentic food, and maybe explore their culture more because you know that is very rich. As when I had visited Thailand, I realized that that's a very rich culturally rich country and mm -hmm. uh, third is i think we can go to places the places that were included in the series and which are very famous something yeah. like the rama bridge right that is very famous yeah. mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, many other the, the phuket uh, uh, the phuket beach the beaches that are included also so that's very fun i love that we'll get lays to sponsor us please <laughs> 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 call me or the seaweed Talcanoi, oh, yeah. Talcanoi, yeah. call me. <laughs> I think too, like tying into that, I really love this idea of Thai culture. And I thought the like Thai slang episode was really cool, yeah. especially mm -hmm. as it tied into BL. And so this idea of like, what is it like hanging out at the Mall of Siam, right? Mm -hmm. And like, do you just run into boys everywhere? <laughs> that's the hope, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that's uh, really I cool. would say that. Oh, uh, you know, the Mall of Siam is too big, like it's close to an acre of land, I guess. I don't know if you understand oh, an acre, but it is a very, very big area, the Mall of Siam, and it has like five, four or five malls inside. So everywhere you see posters, everywhere you see boys, and you just can't get enough of it. So it's beautiful. <laughs> um, you know, you're like, we don't need a hotel, we just go there. <laughs> Yeah, it's, you're, you're less on shopping and you're like, oh my God, oh my God. So it's, it's fun. So it's really nice. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I love it. I'm so, so excited. It's so fun. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then I actually, I know the answer to this from at least one of you, maybe two or three, <laughs> but any interest in like, because we don't see this a lot in BLs really, but any interest in right, like, 
Thai nightlife and things because Thai nightlife is very like famous. Yes. Oh Thailand my gosh. is known yes. for like partying, but what's it really like is kind of what we were wondering if anybody would even be into that. Yes. 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 <laughs> I've been looking that up recently. Yes. Yes. What is in the blue drink? That's all yes. we need. Find the blue drink. Yeah. A real blue drink. <laughs> that is our first mission when we get to Thailand. And what write is in the, the recipe blue drink? down and we'll do it at my bar for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Who do you want to see? Who do you want us to reach out to? We obviously have lists and things like that that we work on all the time, but. Who do you want me to start with? All right. Um, I, I am interested in a lot of behind the scenes stuff um, mm -hmm. as well. So I was thinking like the actual companies like Idol Factory, Dumundi, and being able to talk to not just the actors from there, but the directors, the screenwriters, um, photographers, cinematographers, uh, to get more of the what actually happens and goes into making these. Um, and then, of course, if I, if I don't say Bible, then I'm I'm going to have <laughs> somebody. Um, but yeah, mostly me. I, I, it's me who would shoot me. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> um, Perth Nakun, love that man. Mm. He's so, he seems so genuinely sweet. And he has his own YouTube channel. But um, I think that he would have a lot of interesting things to say. Um, yin and war. <laughs> you got to be on your war agenda. Always. Um, um, Little Earth, Kuhart. Kuhart. Yes. And um, Count and Turbo. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes and amen. Yes. <laughs> I feel like you just said their names and I like died. <laughs> <laughs> Have to have an interview start like counter turbo in an episode and we're good. Yeah, no. I mean if Bible is coming, I'm officially dead. That man, <laughs> the way he speaks English itself is so hot and so good. I, I have um, never seen someone with such progress, I guess, when it when it comes to the Thai boys. He is somebody top of my list. Uh second is yes in board and my lapo. <laughs> Uh, my okay. Apple, uh, I think mm -hmm. they both also manage a lot. I had, I said Tay Tay Wan. I would love oh, to see him. The dream. The dream. The, the oh, dream. My the God. dream. Um, I don't know. I missed the first half. I cut out a little bit. But I also said Perth from. He's also in. Um, and my engineer, like no. you know, the Ram King yeah. of it all. Oh, I would love to see mm -hmm. him and um Tale on the show. That'd be awesome. Oh yeah, I love to lay. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and then also PB Vulcan. PB and Vulcan. That's uh -huh. that would be like true. That would be like a true dream. I, I would like to add Benjamin, if you know Benjamin from Two Moons Two and Pavel Poo. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am obsessed with Ben. So oh, yes. Any other ideas, thoughts, people? Hit us with a list. I have the second war now because Ayla got me on the war train that I even have one of these as a full grown adult. Oh my God, I love it. It's at my bar normally, but I brought them home tonight so they can make an appearance here. <laughs> so war, yin, yes. Uh, the boys at the bar want Bible because they are obsessed with Kin Porsche there. Um, this might be a hot take, but I feel like bringing back guests that you've had on mm, like okay. a like yes. a check-in yes. right like because i think especially some of the earlier guests it would have been like so much has happened since then that it'd be kind of cool to like see where they're at now like run or rin you know like i think that could be really cool yeah yeah would you have like some of the Game Boys back after you know season two comes out in the states? Yes. Yeah, yeah it's like not it, out in the states. states, so that like yeah. that's the hiccup we're running into. Is we did we tried a little bit to get them when it came out internationally, and basically everyone was like, "But this doesn't make sense because it's not available everywhere yeah. internationally." So that was kind of the feedback we got. So I think we're just waiting on you know release plans, but Idea First was never failed. 
Because I would love to see Nikki back on the show. <laughs> oh, no. that was, it's not that was on Gaga for America, which is the feedback yeah. Gaga gave us when we talked to them. They were, because we have a pretty good relationship with Gaga. They were like, mm, I'm not going to give them to you because we don't have it for America. <laughs> we were yeah. like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'd love um, to have Mickey back too. I love, I love him. We still need Kahoy. We still gotta get Kahoy. No. He's yeah. Amazing. Yes. What about some Korean actors? You know, yeah. I know they're oh. kind of a lot of them bigger being idols and stuff too. But like the two my stars that you know broke our hearts again and again. Um, semantic error. Some of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dream big. Yeah, I mean, I'm always. Sure. I have more Japanese content on my list, mm. but when you said that it was on location, I mean, unless you want to go to Japan, I'm <laughs> always. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely have some regular episodes that we'll record. So it won't all be on location. We will be doing regular, like, uh, video interviews and stuff. So. Right. Uh, you should take time and visit one of the uh, schedules of these actors. Like we get to know how crowded it is and how difficult is it to, you know, find them and yes. you know, talk to them or something. Because we see them, it, it happens like there are so many fan sites, right? We, it looks like it is easy or something, but I don't think it actually is. But uh, I think you can follow up on any one of the artist schedules and just visit the mall or some place where it, you know, you know, it doesn't need a ticket or something. And you can let us know if that is possible or not. Like, it can actually be people like that come around mm. and look. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, any of the fan meets would be cool to see yeah. the, an audience perspective of that. Should we also spoil that? Yeah, sure. Well, because we'll be doing a giveaway from it. Um, um, yeah because you get something with the tickets we bought and i don't really keep that kind of stuff so i'm going to be giving you what i get away yeah. um we actually have tickets to the love out loud fan fest with tay and new and bright and win and awesome. Awesome. <laughs> that so, is awesome. so we will be attending that and we the get off the plane and go to the concert the next day yeah. the next day not this <laughs> So we will be talking about that and we'll be doing a giveaway of because we get like a merch box each because we have two tickets. But yeah, I don't keep that kind of stuff, so I'm gonna give mine away. Okay, cool. <laughs> so yes, there will be content. There will be fan meet content. But I really like going to like a schedule, right? Like, you know, they announce they're like, you know, so and so is gonna be at the mall for, you know, these hot wings, like, you know, like random stuff that they go do. Oh my yeah. god, please go to the fast food restaurants. Please go to the fast food restaurants. Yes. The pizza company. Yes. Yes. Taco Bell. KFC. Taco Bell, KFC. Taco Texas Taco chicken. Party. Yep. Texas Subway. Chicken. We enact the commercials too. I think that would be hilarious. That would actually be really funny. I swear, I'm going to walk into a 7 Eleven and like pick up like an Oishi and I'm just going to yell, Anoi! And everyone in the 7 Eleven is going to be like, go away. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be hilarious. It'll be fine. You gotta get one of those black inhalers. Too. Inha yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's important. Tell, if, it, tell just, us if it's worth the hype. <laughs> just walk out with it in your nose and everything. Just yeah, I don't know how they do that because we, we got inhalers at like our local Thai shop <laughs> and they are so strong. Oh my god. Like, I can barely put them near my hands. <laughs> The fact that they have them in their noses and tune. It was seriously wild because we got them like shortly after we did that series <laughs> Sunday with Chris and Porsche. And at one point, Porsche was having like an allergy attack. So he had this inhaler and he like stuck it in his nose and was like inhaling, the, you know, the whole time. Crazy. And then when we tried them, we were like, how are his, like, <laughs> no, like, how is he okay? Like, is he okay? Yeah. It's a lot. But yeah, we're going to try it. You should also uh, dedicate one episode for William and Kat. Oh. And we can invite Mimi too. Mimi yeah. is the newest translator edition. That would be that would be cute. Yes. Tra the translators of Let's Talk to you. That would be yeah. they, just, mm, that would... Can't. they just start talking and chat to each other and are like these girls. Any other <laughs> requests before we switch topics? 
Are you guys going to go to any of like the temples or any of the like the hidden Bangkok tours or anything like that? Yeah. That yeah, would be amazing to see stuff like that. We, we were talking about the culture earlier. Mm -hmm. So that would be really cool. Yeah. Yeah, we could do more more culture like temple and, you know, like and, you know, more local stuff for yeah. sure. Okay, any other guests? So we're gonna we're gonna switch. I mean, not that you guys can't just DM us anytime <laughs> and tell us, but you know, because <laughs> you can, obviously. Um, so we're gonna take a little break from us interrogating you, and we're gonna let you guys interrogate us. If you ever had any questions about any of the stuff that we do, any of the boys, any of the experiences, how like any of that, we. We're ready to <laughs> at least attempt to answer the questions. Yeah. We'll try. I don't know. I mean, uh, how do you get to interview the actors? I mean, like, who do you contact first? Or what's the process like? Yeah, that's a good question. We Yeah, we get that question a lot. So um, you guys know, if you go look at the actors' bios, it's always like, for work so-and-so's contact, right? Whoever the contact is. Um, and that's where we always start. Uh, typically for specific actors, we, I mean, we put some work in. So we have like, we have a media kit and we have analytics and we have demographics, right? And so we have all the, like the numbers and who we are and all that kind of stuff that we can share. But yeah, we always start with all the stuff that everybody sees, which is kind of what like, kind yeah. of drew us at first to like, maybe we could talk to these actors right. because that's so not common in the West to see just like the agent's contact info right there. Like, and sometimes it's their line. So it's like their direct text messaging right. straight to the person. And you're like, this is you're wild. Like, oh. So yeah. you, yeah, usually we start with that contact that's in their bios. It's like for work this person's name yeah. um sometimes we do go through like the production companies or the street like the streaming services so we have a good relationship with gaga we love them they're good to us you know we try to be good to them um we've worked directly with like the show producers before it like especially for example you're my sky we went to like you're my sky producers rather than the individual managers um because we knew we wanted to do the whole show so sometimes we do it that way sometimes it's like we'll go if for the whole show yeah Sometimes it takes messaging a couple of people to figure out the yeah. right person. Out of the two seasons, what was your most memorable episode? And which actor or artist was your favorite? Uh, so my favorite episode is actually not even like an interview episode. It was our Summer Dance series Sunday. Because I still to this day think that episode is so funny. Was, like, we recorded it twice. We had to record it so many times because we kept just going off topic. Yeah. And so crazy. I still think that episode was really funny. So, and it was like fun yeah. to do. So that's probably my favorite episode. My favorite guest, I mean, all of them. <laughs> but either Maggie, because Maggie and I like vibed real quick. Like he came on screen and we do a little like pre interview thing. And during the pre-interview, like, it was very clear, very quickly that, like, he and I were, like, friends. Like, we were buddies. We were on the same wavelength. Um, and so I really liked talking to him because yeah. it was comfortable. And then June Dunk, probably, because it was the same thing. Like, they got on camera for the pre-interview, and they were just so, like, friendly and affable. And, like, I felt no pressure. Yeah. I would say Tool, but... The thing about Tool is I felt so much pressured in talking to him. He was one of the nicest yeah. people, like genuinely nicest so people. Cool. He made me forget so quickly that I was talking to like a famous person because he was just Tool. And he, even in the non-recorded parts, like Tool was exactly who you expect him to be. Like yeah. Tool is who he says he is, fully. Like even in the pre-recording, the post-recording, like yeah. Tool is exactly the person that he tells us he is, you know, like, which is so nice to see. And he's just like the best guy. I felt really nervous about the interview because we <laughs> asked questions that we'd never asked before because with Tool, we knew we could because we knew he would answer them and we knew he would be smart about it. And he would like, we knew he would want to talk about it. 
he's just like God, he's so cool and he's so smart and he's just he's so good yeah there was like a full drink spillage before the thing like things fell over like it was a whole mess it was a mess but we did and his it was- cats were on the show yeah, and yeah. then two seconds into the interview, we're like, "Fools our best friend." <laughs> yeah, I mean, truly, he is who you think he is. Like, yeah. there is no like other. He's, he's pretty cool. So good. Yeah, but I I just felt a lot of pressure with that episode because I knew we were talking about stuff that I wasn't. I just wasn't sure how people would receive it. Right, yeah. like when we talked about the shipping and like what new fans expect of them, it made me nervous because I didn't. I was nervous that people would get mad and I didn't want to have accidentally brought like anger down on him because he's <laughs> such a good person. But I think it's luckily, cool. luckily, Tool and everybody knows and expects him to like tell the thing. So yeah, yeah that was never going to happen probably. Yeah. Um, I think for me, the food episode was really fun just because like, oh, yeah, like we found our local like Thai shop that is this woman who has this cool like food booth in a shopping center. And then she has a ton of this time merch. And so we were like, oh my gosh, we have the Lay's, we have the OG, like all that kind of stuff. And we found the Talcanoy at our local beach mart. So that was fun. Uh, we can't wait to try the fast food when we actually get to Thailand. <laughs> That'll be fun. Uh, favorite interview. Yeah, June Dunk was pretty great. Cause they, like June is just a whole experience. Like. Him singing, and also like, I we it because we're talking to them as actors and as Western fans. Like the ship work is fun to watch, but it's not something that like really makes sense to us a lot of times. And so for us, we kind of stray away from the ship work, encouraging it or like instigating it or whatever. But like June doesn't help themselves. Like June, June just does June, it. June just does the thing. And so it's funny to just have those moments where we're just like, okay, June. Like, that like QT thing, like oh. okay, June. Like it was just really funny, but yeah, yeah. Every guest has been pretty great and pretty much exactly what you expect. Like very professional, very just like nice and like thankful that you know we're talking to them and that we watch the shows and that we've done our research and all that kind of stuff. So, to flip it, um. Who, who who were you most like nerve wracked by that you couldn't like shake the nerves? Um, the none. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so part of the reason for Omen and Nun is there are so many reasons for that, actually. Um, but it was a little unexpected for us. Because um, we sent the email and then two months later we got a response. And so we weren't expecting it. Like yeah. we genuinely, we thought like we requested them and we didn't get them and it is what it is. And then just like randomly out of nowhere, yeah. we were like, yes. And they said yes really quickly. And, and it happened in a week. Yeah. Right. So between the time of them oh, wow. saying yes and us recording, it was like a week. So yeah. there wasn't a lot of time to like mentally get in that space. It was wild. And it happened to just like, cosmically fall right when season two was starting so we were like oh my god we're starting season two with ohm and then like it was ohm and, and, and bad That's bunny crazy. was in like a peak right like it was like mid-airing it was towards the end of the show and we were like how how <laughs> How it was wild, and so I think the whole time I was very nervous <laughs> before that, like, we need to be on our game. Like, yeah. I felt a lot of pressure, like, we need to be exactly right. And then the whole time, I was like, don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was surreal. Yeah. That, we didn't even think it was happening until it was like actually happening, where you're like, this can't, this can't be right. Like, there's no way that like they're talking to us and that we get to do this. Well, and because we found out, like, they they had replied and they asked us like a follow up question about like scheduling. And so we hadn't really confirmed it. And then I woke up one morning super, like super, super early. Um, I want to say it was like 5.30 or 6. It was like too early to wake up on a weekend. Yeah. I remember it was a weekend. And I saw the email and I, like <laughs> these words are burned in. So we say them randomly to each other now. It's like burned into my mind. It yeah. said the artist's schedule has been adjusted. <laughs> and 
I was like, you know, and so we'll see you on this date at this time, blah, blah, blah. That was wild. And I was like, and I read it a few times because I was like, wait, surely they're telling me no. I was like, yeah. wait, I'm, it's too early and I'm misunderstanding this. I like, and so when I realized after a few times reading it that like, no, 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 yeah. we're actually going to interview Omen and Nan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beck Ann was asleep, like dead asleep. <laughs> And I walked and I walked over and she's like asleep, like passed out. And I just like I didn't she I like was like patted me on the how cheek. do you wake someone up to this? Like, she was like we got omen and I like whispered oh it. God. I was like, we got omen and on. Because like you know, like you never know. We had just moved in together. And so like I have siblings, and for example, my sister gets angry when you wake her up. So I was like, Well, I don't want to make her mad. But I was like, it's <laughs> omen and non. Literally, you like that, what what? But like you Did you sit know. bolt upright as soon as she said it? Oh, uh, when Belle had said it, yeah. I was like, yes, oh, no, no. But I fully was like, I can't wait till she wakes up because, like, yeah. notoriously on the weekends, Beth Ann sleeps in late. Yeah. So I was like, I can't wait until she wakes up. I was like, was she wild. needs to know. It was she wild. She needs to know. Um, I, funnily enough, was most nervous with Miggy. Yeah. I, it was one of those things going in, I don't think I realized it. The same thing, Ayla had this experience with Pavel, where like yeah. halfway through the interview, you're like, you get nervous. Like if you're not nervous before, but I really liked Miggy, but I didn't know how much I liked Miggy. And then I like went to pick up my cup, like my mug, and I was like shaking. I was like, oh gosh. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's definitely been some interviews where I may have like had a sip of alcohol just to like set on myself <laughs> because like yeah if you're talking to these actors gotta do what they like, gotta do yeah like <laughs> self-medication is important sometimes yeah so, so yeah that did happen to me with pavel where i was like totally cool pavel yeah. was another one where literally it was a 24-hour turnover mm. their management was like i don't know you want to talk to him tomorrow yeah. we were like <laughs> that was wild okay um and I, fun. I just until we were getting ready for it, I didn't realize how much I liked Pavel. And so, like, I'm putting on my half savage hoodie, right? Like Pavel's merch company, and I'm walking over to my computer, and I was like, I started like panicking, and I was like, <laughs> wait, I like Pavel like this? <laughs> no one told me. So like, why would no one tell me I like Pavel this much? <laughs> I what? Okay. Because he's amazing. Yeah, but some yeah, of these truly, actors are so truly. disarming that, like, the more that you talk to them, the more you're like, oh, they're just people that like are incredibly attractive, and like you've watched on a TV screen, and then like once they're like in front of you and in person, you're like, oh, you're just a person. And then Pavel was like such a nice guy that I forgot yeah. all of it, like to the point where, like, at one point in that interview, I'm like, Pavel, that was a really stupid joke. Like I like I was that level of comfortable with him because he's just so personable. So yeah. it was fine. And Joffrey, I was really nervous for Joffrey. Yeah. They were our first big get. Alex was the first person that like really, really believed in us to give us like yeah. they were in a currently airing show. Don't say no was like the biggest show airing at the time. Mm -hmm. And Alex really believed in us. Little did we know. And Holy so God. I was pretty nervous for that. Yeah. Shout out to Alex. Alex. Yeah. yeah. I started yeah. following yeah. Alex after Shout your interview. <laughs> yeah, she was fun She's to have awesome. on. Yeah. Any any other questions for us before we interrogate you guys more? Um, so you asked this is our dream. Who's your dream interview? I mean you know more. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think mine would definitely be Tay Tuan. He would be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Count Turbo is up there too. Fingers crossed. I mean, I've talked to them once. I got like this little fan call for two minutes, and it was overwhelming. Like, we interview these actors, and I went into it thinking, "Oh, this will be fine." Like, I've talked to plenty of. I talked to Omen the Nun. Like, come on. And then they came on screen, and cool. Turbo just like took over. I like had tie in my head. I was like, I know what I'm gonna do, and then. How to recognize the logo because I had our Let's Talk BL shirt on. I was like, we'd love to have you on the podcast soon. 
and he saw the logo and he was like, my Tuk Tuk. Like he remembered that he made, we made Tuk Tuk. And then him. I like, started oh, freaking out because I wasn't even on the fan call. I was like off oh. to the side, like videoing for her. And oh. because I designed those Tuk Tuks and honestly, did it, it was a mess was because a the fan was like, hey, do you want to do Tuk Tuks for Countess birthday? And I was like, sure. Yes. And then she was, I was like, like, you can put our logo on all the things. And then she was like, oh, but you need to design something in 24 and they need it tomorrow. Yeah. And it was like 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay. And so I stayed up until like 3 a.m. designing a tuk tuk because also I was like, send me whatever pictures you want to use. And unless you're a designer, you don't know, you have to have something that's like a certain, certain it's like PPI, quality, yeah. yeah, a certain quality for the size of right. the thing you're making. And so my fans sending me all these pictures, I'm like, this won't work, this won't work. Like the res <laughs> is just too. And so we go through this whole process. It's like 3 a.m. I finally finished this ad. And then the file corrupts while I'm saving it. And I had to recreate it. And so I like went through it over designing this count a birthday tuk tuk. And so when I heard him say like, oh, the tuk tuk, <laughs> I almost started like I almost started crying. Uh, pretty wonderful. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I think I say again more, but like, I mean. I just don't know how to handle talking to Ian more. Like there are some <laughs> directions it could go in. And fingers you know. crossed we'll find out in season three how <laughs> Ayla does survive talking to Ian more. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. See if we can get him. I would I would seriously I would lose <laughs> it. Uh, I have an unhealthy obsession with Turbo. Like he's just so pretty. Like every time he's on everything, yeah. he's constantly on my phone. I just be like, oh. <laughs> and he's so cool. He's like the coolest guy. Like, I know this wakeboarding thing that he's yeah. doing is just awesome. Yeah, that's the dream. Yeah. Padza. That's their manager. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're working on it. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah, we got to wrap up. I feel like it's like cliche, but I want to kind of be like mountains or sea. Choke, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Okay, I'm going to ask you guys questions then. So other question that I'm really curious to know is do you guys like those episodes where we bring on other creators? And if so, what creators would you want to see on the, on the podcast? I but like them. I don't have any creators to come. I like them, but I don't have any creators that come to mind because I truthfully just watch random TikToks. Like there's a few that you guys already interviewed and like I've seen, like I they, I follow them, but besides that, the other ones are just very random. Like they're just screaming at their laptop, honestly, truthfully, and that's it's yeah, just, it's weird. I feel like that's like a lot of BL fans screaming at your laptop. Yeah, yeah, it's all yeah, of us. Pretty much, it's all of us. Yeah, I like Shannon lately. Have you seen okay. her? Yeah. She she's funny. She's got an interesting take that like not a lot of people okay. have out there. She's like, I'm I'm just I'm just here for the drama. Yeah. <laughs> like, but it, like not in in a toxic way. She's right, like, right. If, you, if you get weird, you're deleted. You know, I I like her a lot lately. Okay, I like Cassidy. Cassidy, yeah. especially she's been to Thailand now and I has know, like a whole. That. Like she went there and her cousin is famous there. So she got like a different look yeah. Yeah. than most of us would. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think I'd be really interested in like creators from other countries. Mm. Um, so like Emma from Scotland, I think she's from Scotland, but yeah. you know, like I, like I, it's really interesting to me because we have the, US BL like lens, but I'd love to hear other countries too. So. Yeah. so that being said, I don't really know many fans from the UK really, like mm -hmm. other than me, but I don't really have any people that I know who like 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 him, like stuff from Thailand or like BL or whatever. But um 
So yeah, somebody from the UK definitely from me. Mm, yeah. Anyway. But um, yeah, because as I said, there's hardly anyone that well that I know anyway personally. But yeah. Oh, that's fun. I like the idea of maybe trying to find because then we could help or not. Not that anybody needs us to do this, but like help people find other creators and BL friends in their own country. So like on your own time zone, which is always nice, yeah. right? Like. <laughs> I, I would like to add to her, actually, uh, even in India, for that matter, I have a lot of friends who watch BL, too many, actually. But India as a country <laughs> is not accepting that culture yet. So I don't think we have a lot of creators. We might find some reactors for the episodes, but nothing beyond that. Gotcha. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. OK. That's good. Good to know. Good to know. OK. Interesting. So much to like think about and create and make. Um, so last question, because the theme of this season is let's talk BL on location and y'all know now we're going to Thailand, but are there any other locations that you think would be interesting for us to film at maybe like in, in the States or like a type of like restaurant or shop or right? Like anything like that, like kind of like anywhere in the United States or even, you know, like for us, places like Canada, Mexico, that's like a little more accessible. I feel like I should offer up my bar. You guys can come on site and film with the big bar in the background. We can do a cocktail theme. We can do the blue cocktail. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Once we find out what's in the blue cocktail, we'll come yes. to you and make the blue cocktail. <laughs> yes. I, I got to say, Columbia University. <laughs> right? <laughs> with our the universities, actually, if you are allowed to go inside, we have so many spaces in our minds. When we think of uh, Bad Buddy, we have that staircase, the railings where, you know, yeah. uh, Oman Manu So that is a very iconic spot. I've seen that staircase in quite a lot of series. So I think you should visit some of these universities where BLs are you know, yeah. very prominently shot. Okay, cool. Any any other thoughts, ideas, shops, restaurants, anything like that? Maybe you can show us your local Thai restaurant that you go to. Oh, we, Anna? We should talk to Anna. We should talk to Anna. Yeah. Practice our Thai with Anna. <laughs> that would be cute. Maybe they can give you like a little cooking class and you could learn like some basic dishes. Oh, that would, that would be cute. That would be kind of iconic. That'd be fun. That would be so fun. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, we might have a new local Thai restaurant, like a second one, because a new one just opened. And we saw it because on the side of the building, they have painted in huge letters. It says, we have Thai food. <laughs> we're like, yes. And we tried to go one time and they were like, <laughs> their um, their stove was broken. And so they were closed yeah. for the day. And we were like, ugh. Yes. We'll so try again. May, yeah. Yes, Maybe which we, we found out recently that the, the Thai government gives money to people who want to open Thai restaurants in the States because it encourages Thai culture and right. interest in Thai things. And so that's pretty cool. Yeah. One thing I learned recently is Pad Thai was actually created by like a prime minister to like you know, to like to be the Thai national dish. Yeah. And it like wasn't even that long ago, <laughs> which is great. I mean, in terms of like history of the world, it was a while, it was a long time ago in terms of like, right? like was it, it wasn't last year, but yeah. yeah. I think maybe too, like having some behind the scenes, like an episode like behind the scenes of like, you know, your photo shoots or, a, you know, we talk about a day in the life of a BL actor. Why not a day in the life of a BL podcast host? Yeah. 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 Your video on YouTube was really fun. So it would be cool to see something like that again. Okay. And more photo shoots uh, in the themes of, you know, different scenes. Because I've seen you guys do a lot of photo shoots in certain themes. So I think you should visit those places and take the similar kind of pictures. That and create can... pictures. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pictures. yeah. Well, we do have another photo shoot coming up. So stay tuned because we'll have some special guests. Special guests at the next photo shoot. <laughs> yes, this is true. In Thailand. In Thailand. That's all we're telling you. We have a photo shoot awesome. in Thailand and there will be special guests. <laughs> <laughs> 
So stay tuned to season three. It's going to be wild, y'all, because we're in Thailand yeah. for two weeks, and y'all, it's there's so many things. Three weeks almost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, two and a half weeks. Um, so yeah. It's gonna be so fun. We're trying to plan all the things. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. Thank keep, you guys. Keep listening. Thank, Thank you. Thanks for joining Thank us. You.